Yo, so I'll be doing a, we're gonna be fixing the exhaust VVT on my car. Um, I've been having an issue for a while now where the car kind of stumbles uh, after holding throttle kind of steady for a while. Um, Jacob thinks it's the exhaust VVT. I got all the parts ready. Uh, so we're gonna go diagnose it, make sure it's the exhaust VVT, and uh, we'll show you guys how to replace it. We might be doing a couple other things on my car as well. Um, but Jacob's shop is sick. He has uh, a bunch of cars there. He has a ton of Volvos himself, uh, and he does some um, work on the side as uh, you know he does some performance builds for people. And uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely show you guys around. Also, let me know uh, in the comments how my hair came out. I got a. Uh, Got a haircut done by my boy Lowell over at In Street Barbershop in Newburyport. If you guys are ever in the area, definitely hit him up. All right, so we just pulled up to Jacob's shop. Uh, you can probably see behind me, there are a ton of cars here. It's got literally Volvos tucked away everywhere. You got an 07 XC with ABLs, got an S80 and V70 kind of stashed back there. It looks like there might be more parts cars back there. Uh, this looks like a T5, if I'm not mistaken. And it has a manual, holy crap, this is a manual, manual T5. This thing's rad, full kit. There's a, another, looks like maybe a T5. Another T5. That one's manual too, holy guacamole. You got a, looks like maybe the engine's out of this one. S60R, V70R, another V70R, Jacob said that was his. Got my car as well as a few more stuff back there. Jacob's in the shop taking his R out, I believe. So if you guys need any work done, definitely hit him up. Uh, I believe I mentioned his Instagram again, but if not, jratchfpv on Instagram. A little bit of a mess right now, but you know, we got engines and transmissions chilling here waiting to go in cars. Oh my God, you can't even see anything because the exposure's off. This is crazy. This is your car, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is the one you brought to... Is this the one you brought to Carla? No. That's a... This is a different one. Yeah, 06 V7 ER. Is this the manual? Yeah, this is a factory manual one. I uh, bought this one from the original owners in Maine last year. Just having that. Uh, trying to get around to uh, fixing it up. See what it is. Um, and then there's a quick test I do where you, you, you pull this off. And um, someone inside cranks it, and you can watch the VVT hub move back and forth when it's cranking. Okay. With no oil pressure. Okay. If you see it flopping around, then instantly it's bad. All right, we can do that. Yeah. All right, so crank it over probably like twice as long as what you did. Wait, hold on. Good. No, it's not fucking focusing. Sorry. <clears throat> Where's the record button? Oh, on the it's, side. It's already recording. Oh. What's the verdict? She's blown. You heard it. Damn, I'm it's jealous. Where did my gloves go? All right, so we took out the wheel. Uh, that's so we can get to the crank down here. Uh, we're gonna take this cover off, get the time belt off. Uh, we're gonna lock down the back of the motor, so we're gonna have to take the intake out. We're gonna have to take this out. Uh, sensor, there's a sensor behind that. Uh, engine mount, and then uh, Jacob has a cam locking tool. So set the cams up so that they don't move while we have the VVT off. And uh, pretty straightforward from there. That's it. That's it, baby. Locks this motor down, make sure nothing moves. Makes them like, Do it, uh, Jacob? It's late, sloppy. Yeah, it's clicking. Hot. Say it. She's blown. I wish I was blown. <laughs> Shout out Connor, he just brought us some lunch, very appreciated. Jacob's getting right to work on this thing. Oh my god, wrong way. Can't see anything down there. I need to adjust the ISO, that's what I need to do. Let's see if I can set it to auto. I can. Word! Getting all the time marks marked. 
Is it TDC? Yep. There it is. You guys ever do your timing belt? Mark it with a marker. You can see it a little better. Yeah, these little art store paint pens work great. It's a Jacob pro tip. <laughs> Listen to it. All right, so next up we're gonna lock the cams. As you can see, we got this whole back of the engine taken apart. Got my intake out of there. You can see my little snail there. Cam seals. Fortunately, we noticed this one's starting to leak a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see that, hardly. There's like no light, but um, we're doing the job. We're replacing them, so should get taken care of and uh, no issues. Have you moved it? Can't. Yeah, you already did? Yeah, there are. So the tool's already in. Basically, once I lock this down, the cam should be in there. Lock position. Radical. Like that. That's it, boys and girls. Now the cams are not going to move, so we can take uh, the VVT hub off uh, with no issues. Show on the intake, so for comparison. So the intake is actually bad. But not as not bad. nearly as bad. That exhaust should, is should still replace it. Yeah. Little diaper catch. Little diaper. That's the where'd it go? There it is. That is the little plug. Same size T55 for the inside. Holy moly. That's These are torqued to 120 millimeters. Wow. Look at that grime. Mm. This rear one, you have to leave the bolt in because there's not. Jacob has now replaced both the intake and exhaust VVTs. If you guys can see, he's yanking on it. This whole car is shaking, actually. Yeah, they do the not. The car is legit move. shaking. You can see there's no play in this. Where before, there was a little bit of play in the intake side and a lot of bit of play on that exhaust side. So it's going back together now. Um, Jacob just has to torque some stuff down on these. We'll start putting the timing uh, components back together. We'll throw the back end of the motor back together. Uh, intake back on, all that good stuff, and then uh, this job will be done. And uh, I think we have a couple more things we want to potentially tackle today, but um, we'll see if we get there. So I'm not going to spoil it yet. Uh, if we do, you'll see it in this video. If not, you'll see it in the next one. So. I have to like. You get to tighten them pretty tight to like a point where they're like, eh. You're like kind of scared of them snapping. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks with the small bolts. I'm always like afraid of snapping small bolts. Yeah. It's like just straight up terrifying. Yeah, it's... Especially like in an aluminum head. So oh, easy yeah. to strip something out. So Jacob might have the smallest ratchet known to man. I don't know. Like, have you guys seen something this small other than Jacob's penis? Mess up my cams, guys. Use a hose pick and get them right out. He's leaking all over my engine bay. This guy. I hate those seals. <laughs> so. These ones? Those are like the, um, those are the Corteco ones. Uh, I usually like the Elbury ones better. <laughs> Alright, so, um, when you're doing these rear cam seals, you want to brake clean this and make sure this aluminum surface in here is nice and clean, otherwise the cam seals can push out. Um, these, sometimes you'll find these in there. These are the stock ones. You can see they are, the edges are completely smooth, which allows them to be pushed out fairly easily, especially with a clogged PCV. Um, and this is why you want the L-ring ones. As you can see, 
It's slightly different looking, but it does the same thing. And this is ribbed for her pleasure. But it also keeps the seal in nice and tight. I usually like to lube these up with um, Lucas. Place it in there. And then use the same 30 mil that you use to take the crank nut off with as a, uh, as a press tool. You be able to press it right in. That's legitness. That was legitness. Yeah. All right, so we just finished. Uh, huge shout out to Jacob. Jacob did like 95% of the work. I think I put something in wrong, and that was my contribution. Um, so I'll give myself 5% for that. But uh, no. It, we, uh, we just wrapped everything up, as you can see. It's all put back together. Um, haven't started it yet. I need the first start on camera for you guys in case something insane goes wrong. That's like, dropping. yeah, I guess if, uh, if we lose the belt or, I don't know, one of the VBTs jumps or something happens, but Jacob's gonna fire up for us. Let's see. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Um, so, I said this at the beginning of the video. I'm going to say it again. If you guys are in the, like, southern Massachusetts or even just, like, New England area, yep. Jacob's your man. He's got this whole shop out here. As you saw in the previous clips, he's got, like, a million Volvos, uh, parts cars, cars that he's working on, his own cars. Half of them are his cars at this point. But um, if you guys need any work done at all, definitely check him out. His Instagram is jrachfpv. Yep. Uh, I'll put it on the screen for you here. But um, he does great work. He's uh, he's self-taught, and he's actually teaching these guys over here a little bit uh, a little bit more than they already know. Uh, they're old timers, but you know he's he's the new kid on the block, bringing the new knowledge to the to the scene. Yes, but seriously, appreciate him for all the work that uh, he helped me with today. Um, wrapping up here now. Uh, but Jacob, tell us a little bit real quick about this problem and uh, kind of how it goes unnoticed. So this problem kind of like it's it kind of goes unnoticed because normally it's not going to throw a check engine light, and if it does, uh, what most people do is they will try and replace the VVT solenoid and try and clean it out, which uh, never really ends up working. Um, just the usually what happens is a combination of bad oil changes. Um, and lazy maintenance uh, just makes the inside of the VVT wear way quicker than it really should. And over time, the, VV, the exhaust VVT moves a lot and it builds up a lot of play. And that play usually makes the car a little bit less drivable. Um, you get lazy turbo spool. Um, it, it'll idle weird, it'll idle rough. Um, but once you get fresh BVTs in there that are nice and tight, these things absolutely idle like a dream. Um, you'll build boost quicker, and it's one of those one of those things that no one talks about, but it makes a huge difference in the drivability of these cars. Yeah. So Jacob was telling me that, like, you know, he has a pile of VVTs over at his shop. Uh, we know another guy who's got a pile of VVTs over at his shop. This is a very common issue that often goes unnoticed. Some of those symptoms that you heard Jacob talking about. Uh, my car was basically falling on its face, like not every time, but very sporadically uh, when I would come up to a stoplight. Uh, if I held throttle and like constant, it would start to misfire. Uh, just things like that, like little things that kind of might go unnoticed or, you know, as, as it progresses, obviously it gets worse. So uh, if this, you know, if any of these symptoms are happening to you, definitely check out your VVT. Jacob showed us how to diagnose it at the beginning of the video. Um, I'll try to throw some clips in there for you, but essentially you can pull off this top cover of the engine right here and as you crank the car uh, Before it fires up you can actually see the VVT hub the gear it wobbles um, So before we even you know dove into this job We knew that it was bad. We knew that this was the issue so we didn't have to do a ton of diag We didn't have to use Vita to you know scan any codes uh, my car actually it wouldn't have read anything because uh, my ECM 
for some odd reason is actually offline so I have no stored codes whatsoever uh, you know we probably could have messed around with it and made the uh, made the ECU like read stuff just like for diagnostic purposes but it wouldn't have had any codes because we would have had to clear everything um, so again huge shout out to Jacob he's been a huge help today uh, like I said go check him out and uh, appreciate you guys for watching make sure you like share subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. A few minutes later. Ah, you can gun it. Oh, check engine light. Really? Yeah. All right, so I don't know how much of the last clip got this, but we're back at the shop. Uh, almost certainly. Yep, didn't plug it in. My 0% help uh, has now caused us further issues. I didn't plug, <laughs> I didn't plug the PTC in, so now, uh, I don't know, what's the game plan? Do we have to rip the intake out? No, you can you can sneak your hand in there. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Jacob has small hands, so I think he's gonna he's gonna captain that one. Alright, Jacob's magic fingers was able to uh, get that thing all situated. So now we gotta just clear the codes and then we should be a hundred percent. But sorry for the video after the video. Alright, I am now a believer. This literally changed how my car drives in a very significant way. It feels so much better. Uh, Jacob just even, you know, he was like, everybody's gonna be doing their VVTs now. Do your VVT. This makes a legit difference. Uh, seriously though, if you uh, have a chance to get it done, if you can do it yourself, if you have a shop local to you, have them do it. This, uh, this seriously improved a lot of, uh, you know, issues I didn't even know I had. Uh, it feels better throttle uh, response. Um, in first gear, just cruising. It's not like all jerky. Same thing with second gear. Um, just, just drives better, man. So, do that.